Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Union Gaming. This is your host, Roz. As always, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. You can find me on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Patreon, TikTok, and Rumble, all at Union Gaming. All right, guys, this is episode 40 of my Final Fantasy VII playthrough for the PlayStation 1. If you are familiar with this channel and this series, you know that I am actually running this off of an emulation. And I recorded an original episode 40, and I died on Sephiroth. And after some research, I love this, this uh, visual here going down that spiral. Anyway, if you know, you know, but Sephiroth in Final Fantasy VII was one of the first bosses to scale towards your level. And it was a problem. It's a real problem for me. So what do I do? I go out and I grind levels. And I grind materia, and I grind, and I grind, and I grind. You know. Because what do I want? I want the fairest fight possible where I have the advantage. And I know that makes no sense, but that's how I like to roll. Yeah, that was a Tetra Elemental. Okay, I wanted to give that to something. Yeah, I'll give that to Sid. When we get down here, I'm just gonna fucking go ham on the materia and the leveling and the weaponry. So yesterday I did a quick test run. Uh, can I beat Sephiroth? The answer is yes, I can. That ain't good. I got a one. Oh, he killed himself. Good. I only had a 25% chance of that working. Not killing one of my guys. HP plus X potion. Perfect. Alright, so he's maxed out. Gospel on good old sit there on range Ultima. Does he have a barrier? He has restore, full cure, death blow, HP, HP. So he does not have a barrier. He does not have a is it time? Time, he needs a master time. Actually, you know what? That's fine. Should get a master revive. Sorry, I can do this right before the boss fight, or I can do this now, and I'm going to do it now. Oh, hello, Ness. Haha, uh -huh, healed me. Killed you. Turn around, 
kill this dude. Pack, pack. Uh, he's, he fucked all the way up there. Keep fighting me the whole way down. I don't think I ran into this many enemies yesterday on the way down. You know what? I will take all the XP I can get. That was a counter. Alright. Slash. the way to the planet's core. This is the center of the planet. Let's go. Okay, so that's, uh, so we need the magic up here real quick. Everyone's maxed out. We will grab items here. We will throw an ether on me. Ether on Sid. Really, two ethers, okay. Everybody's maxed out at 9,999 health. Ah, uh, how many potions do I got? I got 20 X potions, 15 elixirs, and 8 mega elixirs. So that's 43 full heals that I can pop off in one fight. I don't think I'm going to need that. God damn again, God damn like a wimp. Come on, move out or something. All right, like move out or something. What? Look at the number. They're coming out in full force. Cloud, you go first. I'm fighting here too. Shut. Won't do us no good with everyone back here. Fair try. You take two of us with you and go first. The rest of us will catch up with you later. It's like a practice run before the run for the whole thing. Yeah, it's a major practice run. Yeah, I'm fine with that. It's probably more fun than fighting Sephiroth down there. Huh, this might be a fun to pass the time. Alright, let's take Tifa and Sid. They're already on the floor next to us. Make up your mind. Okay, we're taking Tifa. Yeah, we're this is the party we're taking. Later, containers. All of you. Later. Ha! Ah, that's, that's kind of what he did. Yeah, later. Let's go! Oh, get a fight on the way down to Sephiroth, too. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Actually hit me. Get my, uh... Thousand. I think he has almost 20,000 extra health. These are the creatures that you do not fuck with. Do it, magic. Item. Wanna have the max out uh, everything. Whoa, hello, I don't know you. You're new. Ooh, and that ain't gonna be good. Okay, he killed his ass. Good. We 
need a massive rehealing here too. So if you guys have been wondering what Rod's been doing all week and have not really recording, it's been this. I've been grinding the shit out of this game. Nothing really phases me in this game right now. It's up. Oh man, another one of these guys. I'm okay with it, man. Genova, it's coming. Yeah, Genova's coming. First of like four boss fights. The final fight of this is a boss run. She's pretty fucking simple, folks. For a naked lady. Taking care of the tentacles. You can't be to us now. No damage. No mana. Sephiroth? My body, I can't control my body! My 
front legs, my hind legs, my tail's about to tear off. It's definitely not good. He's way out of our league. I don't know if I can go on. Cloud. Uh, there. It's there. Cloud. Holy. Holy is there. Holy is shining. Eris' prayer is shining. Holy Eris. It's not over yet. This isn't the end yet. Alright, let's do this, guys. So we're taking Tifa. Show us your answer. Sephiroth. To the settling of everything. Here we go, folks. Three stage fight. Alright, magic first. Always magic first on this shit. Okay, and think about the sequence of the five targets. So let's go white magic, base. Super speedy, and we have a barrier up. Fucking Cloud's gonna be the main magic caster this one. Deep of fucking rocks. Uh, slash all, Cloud, uh, attack. No, we don't give a shit about everyone else. We're just gonna wreck this fool. Demi 3. Okay. Sid Limit Break. Alright, Dead Portion Dead. Don't give a shit. I hate this part of it. Okay, uh, not really. Alright, item. Let's go an X potion on yourself. And then we will. Hold three. It's... Oh, thank god! Perfect. Right's dead. No, I don't care about everyone else. Punch his fool. Explosion on yourself. Bizarre energy. He ain't he ain't healing himself as much as the, uh, on my test run. Big brawl. No, I don't give a shit about everyone else right now. Sorry, energy. Means 
He's healing a little, but he can't out heal the damage output my team. Yeah, he's got 2,000 more health now, but he's about to lose, like... Heard that tickles. And now he lost three thousand there. Another two, so he's taking down five thousand. Um, what magic? We're gonna go haste. And then wall. Missed again. So we're gonna get the wall back, right? Tifa fucking out of the blocks, man. Heal all you want, fucker. And portion revived. Dead again. Sephiroth, you fucking suck. Demi, please hit Sid and please absorb. Nope, that hit me pretty fucking hard. X potion on Cloud. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do an elixir on Cloud. Not really. Um, item. Throw it myself. Elixir's gonna be fine on him. Elixir, perfect. Full magic, full everything. Sorry, I, don't need that. I don't care how much you do yourself, dude. I can cut you down. This is a war of attrition here. Psycho theme, shower scene. But here we are, we're fighting the one winged angel. I love the fact that he has, like, the Lovecraftian, the Book of Enoch basic design of an angel. Angels are fucking terrifying looking creatures, dude. Alright, magic. We're gonna do. No, we're gonna do haste on all of us, and then we're gonna do wall on all of us, and then we're gonna attack. Attack and attack. Yeah. 
shadow player. Somebody's gonna get an elixir or an x real quick. It's gonna be cloud, probably. I just hurt nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna do. Slash off. Then we're going to item. X potion. Yeah, we're down to the X potion. Wow. I was just fucking going to town here. X potion, we're back to full health. Fuck you, Sephiroth. Is he gonna fucking. Oh, he's gonna go airborne. Good thing I got long range material, fucker. Magic. Magic. Regen on all of us. Alright, white magic item. Oh, I need a remedy. Remedy in the top five. Oh, I do. Yeah, let's not worry about meteor anymore. Look at this shit coming in. Okay, that wasn't a planet. This comet rips the rings right off of Saturn. Just fucking wrecked Jupiter. It's going for the sun! Everybody gets an explosion now. Mercury's getting burned up. Right, they just fucking wrecked the whole solar system here with this spell Sephiroth. Venus is now dead. And the sun is going to touch the Earth just to kill these fools. Uh, I don't care about meteor Earth spawn. So we're in actually pretty good shape here. Explosion on Tifa. Oh, interesting. Alright, uh, Limit Magic Item Remedy. I oh, I need to soft her. Um, uh, Magic. Limit Cloud, finishing touch on Sephiroth. Tifa, you use the next potion. 
girl. Finishing touch on him. Let's fuck this dude up. round two, or round three, depending on how you want to talk about boss fights. This is all we could do. Wait, what about Holy? What's going to happen to the planet? That, I don't know. Isn't the rest up to the planet? You're right. We've done all that we could do. Alright, everyone. It's no use thinking about it. We'll all leave our worries here. Let's go home proud. He's... He, he is still here. Still. Cloud? He's... He's laughing. Cloud's having an out-of-body experience. Cloud! Sounds like Ghostbusters theme right there, like going into Dana's uh, apartment in Ghostbusters 1. Sorry. It's very psychedelic, man. Why do you not have a shirt on, dude? You're not wearing a shirt. Omnislash. I don't have Omnislash. That's his maximum level 4 limit break.
stream. Tifa's there. I was thinking that was Eris. Ah! I was gonna fall to his doom into the life screen. I think I'm beginning to understand. What? An answer from the planet. The promised land. I think I can meet her there. Yeah, let's go meet her. Bullshit, he has a, a puny arms enough to pull both of them up. Even her really big boobies. Hey, where is everyone? Hey! I'm glad you're all safe. Did Tifa's boobs seriously get bigger? Uh, they all seem to be safe too. But now what are we going to do? Holy should be moving soon. And that means this place will... Oh, Lady Luck, don't fail me now. Oh, here comes the high wind. Guard's about to get fucking
Wait a damn minute. What's gonna happen to Midgar? We can't let that happen. I had everyone take refuge in the slums. But the way things are now... It's too late for Holy. Meteor's approaching the planet. Holy is having the opposite effect. Get Midgar. We gotta worry about the planet. What's that? Is that the live stream? And roll credits! Alright guys, so that concludes my Final Fantasy VII playthrough for the PlayStation 1 that I was running off of an emulator. Um, this game's 26 years old? Now, maybe? Sounds right, 26 years. Um, Graphic-wise, graphic-wise, it's still a pretty good game. But, doesn't really hold up as far as fun goes. It's, uh, it wasn't nearly the chore I thought it was going to be to complete this game, but it was also more challenging than I, was, I had planned, if that makes sense. Uh, I had to get through grind some levels, I'm sorry, I'm really freaking tired, it's been a long week. So, sorry about the awning there. But, the game I had to level, I, lo I missed a bunch of shit in this game. Like, I did not get Bahamut Zero because I didn't defuse the rocket ship, the material bomb of the rocket. Um, I didn't get Hades, I didn't get uh, Knights of the Round materia, some of the major summons materias. The summons look really cool, they kind of hold up, most of them do. Story-wise, I remember this being so much more engaging back in 1998, 97, 98. The... Like, when Eris died at the end of Disc 1, I fucking cry, man. Like, that's like... Shit. That's something you don't really see. 
Uh, for me, this is also my first venture into more adult-oriented games. Uh, the ESRB really wasn't out yet at this point. It was just getting out, I think, at this point. No, it was out, because Mortal Kombat was what the reason that ESRB was created for. And I played Mortal Kombat, it was cool, but most of the games I played would be rated teen to everyone. This is the first game I've ever played that had adult language in it. That's uh, something you don't really see a whole lot in video games back in the 80s. Strategy-wise, thinking-wise through it, I just leveled up till I was as powerful as a god and just wrecked it at the end. There is a little bit of thinking involved. Like, I didn't really, outside of consulting the master guide of Google for a couple of hints of where to go next, it was pretty easy to figure it out on your own. I did not go with any uh, materia linkage guides. I was basically game theorying that all my, on my own based on my experience 26 years ago and 40, almost 47 years of video gaming knowledge in my brain. I was just using big brain theory on gaming theory and coming up with what I was doing. The Chocobo Racing, I just see that right there in the credits. That was a neat little thing, but it wasn't great. Condor War Section, yeah. Neat little mini game. But it wasn't that great. Same with the sub design. Oh, here we go. Submarine chase. That was neat, but not great. Uh, loved the airship. Loved the high wind. Uh, some of the cinematics, though. The cinematics are what really got me. You never really got cinematics in video games until the PlayStation. Like, you would get the cheesy endings, but there was no, like, mid game movie section. That didn't happen. You'd have, like, cutscenes like that never happened. So, for the PlayStation, that's because a lot of the games didn't have the process to, the power to process it. It's fun. I, don't get me wrong, the game's fun. I enjoyed it. They uh, go back to the old school original, original uh, music from Final Fantasy One. What they're doing right now, the the four heroes. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of stuff to say. I forgot how long these goddamn credits are. This is a pretty big game back in there, too. You know, you had a lot of people working on this. Final Fantasy VII, absolutely top-notch 1997 game. That was... That showed you what the PlayStation could do. Yeah, I know. They released all the Final Fantasies on the PlayStation because I had all of them. I got the anthology because they remastered five and six. One, two, three. Yeah, they remastered five and six. Played seven. Eight, I have never beaten. I only played like maybe half of the first disc of Final Fantasy VIII. Never played nine. I got the emulators on here. I might go back and try to tackle some of that stuff. But the game's pretty good but I wouldn't say it's a must-play. It's... Well, you know, no, I take that back. I'm gonna say it is a must-play. Just for the history of what this game did for the series, the franchise, and PlayStation in general. I honestly don't think there would be a PlayStation 2 if this and Metal Gear Solid were never made. You can argue with me all you want on that one, but I really don't think PlayStation survives without this game. This and one other game. I don't think it survives. 500 years later. Oh! Oh! Post-credit scene! Fucking Marvel. Before Marvel. 
500 years later. Red 13 still alive 500 years later. Why is his tail on fire? Is he a flare on? Life without people, or Earth without people. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Roz with the Union Gaming. Make sure you hit that like button, share, subscribe. Find me on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Patreon, TikTok, Rumble, all the things. Why are you still creepy giggling in the background? It's weird. Any. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you enjoyed the playthrough. I'll catch you next time, guys. Until then. Oh. I'm gonna let this continue going. I almost hit stop. Or is this how they're gonna just end it? They're not gonna show anything else, just stars flying. Give this a minute, see what happens here. I'm just going to end this here. Thanks for watching. Later, taters.